So, so um, probably very cheery for first thing in the morning. Not to mention the fact they say they stayed up all night in that particular scene as well. So a um, lot of energy to have stayed up all night and um, first thing in the morning there. But let's uh, move along. So early musical films, without giving you a whole lot of history of sound, um, they had to create a system to play back sound um, and it took around 25 years for this to happen. Uh, sound had to be synchronized with the screen. It had to be understandable. All this is a lot easier said than done. One of the first movies, and we're going to look at a clip from this in a little bit, but not just yet, is The Jazz Singer. This is always said to be the first talkie movie. Um, and this is set in a scene where the character wants to sing jazz, and he kind of defies his family traditions to do so. It did not have very much spoken dialogue, but there was spoken dialogue in the movie, which we'll explore a little bit more in just a second, too, but, um, or in a few minutes, actually. But many musicals are set up so singing and dancing is reasonable within the confines of the story being told. So, for example, I've got um, a little small animated loop here from the movie Holiday Inn. In this, they're members of a performing trio. They want to quit and run a country hotel, the Holiday Inn. And... Um, they, it's basically all about them doing these entertainment venue things. And so naturally, if they're working in a venue where they're going to be doing entertainment for their guests, it lends itself very well for them to be practicing singing and dancing. And so they can do the singing and dancing that the movie requires all within the confines of the story, if that makes sense. So anyway, I want to show you, so we're going to not show you a clip from a movie. We're going to show you another YouTube video where this person is talking about the strange world of early sound films. And they go into a little bit more about how early sound films were recorded with some facts that I did not know, in all honesty, as well as how strange some of the very early sound films were as well. So after Jazz Singer was so successful and why it was so successful, Hollywood wanted to keep releasing movies, and the first years of talkies, these movies were called talkies because you could actually hear the characters. There was actually sound that came along with them, and um, it's very interesting to see how this has evolved from the very early on because you got to remember, before the movies had talk um, and dialogue and music and things like that, you might would have a character who had a horrible voice but it didn't matter because nobody was ever going to hear them. So now your actors have to have a voice that is pleasing to the ears in addition to probably a face that's pleasing to the eyes. And so it started to limit some of who could be actors and actresses and things like that. There's a lot of things that go into play there that we just don't even think about. But anyway, go watch this little miniature documentary from YouTube about it. It's not a very long documentary, um, but it, it does a good overview of some stuff. I think it's got some interesting information in it, and I hope you will too.